Hello, Creative. It's your boy, Psychic Samario here. Psychic Extraordinaire, Psychic to the Stars, with your twin flame reading, love reading for the sign of for the signs of actually Gemini and Libra. Gemini and Libra. Okay, let's go ahead and start here. There's Mary, Joseph, Dennis, Martin, Spock, Tiffany, Ancestors of Odin, New, Archangel Michael, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Chamuel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel. Uh oh, we got one here. Archangel Metatron, Archangel Uriel. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm doing a Celtic spread here for you. Uh, Gemini and Libra. <laughs> okay, looks like a lot about money. Okay. All right, let's see here. Nine of Pentacles. Hangman. Ten of Cups. Justice. Okay. Looking really good, Gemini and Libra. A lot of air. Okay. This one. Two of Cups. All right, in reverse. Okay. King of Cups in reverse. A couple of fears here. Two of Pentacles and the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Now, with the Celtic spread, I'm going to walk you through how this works. This, it reads, this goes first position, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Okay. And so, we're basically, to get a gauge of where we are here, give me one second. I'm going to let's go start here with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. All right. This just lets me know, hey, where are we right now in our relationship? Okay. All right, so Queen of Pentacles <clears throat> definitely does with money. Let's take a look here. All right here, Queen of Pentacles, bam. All right, this also could be about baby, a new birth, a child, being pregnant, maybe thinking you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant. If you are Gemini Libra are looking to start a family or maybe have another child, okay, that also popped up as well. A respected business person, this queen may also be your financial angel, generous, wise, and very grounded in her attitudes Others love her Wa de Viv and willingness to support those closer to her. I guess that's Wa de Viv. She brings stability, gifts, and protection, and predicts a happy time ahead, both materially and emotionally. All right. So good things are coming away for you. Okay. And the next one is potential challenges. Okay. Another pentacles, six of pentacles, but it's in the right position uh, or the up position. It faces to the right. I read it in the upright position. So let's see. Six of Pentacles, a gift. Your gift may arrive as a financial investment in your business from a mentor, a small legacy. Again, a mentor, here we go. A small legacy from a relative, a competition win bonus, or another payout that is wholly unexpected. It could be the stimulus package coming for you as well due to this coronavirus, okay? Um, but not just, you know, limited to that, okay? You may also be appreciated just for being you. How about that? As your special gift may be a small token from a friend. Equally, you may be inspired by generosity to give to others without expecting anything in return. So it's basically saying if it was a potential challenge, maybe watch your generosity, okay? Maybe limit it a little bit, okay? Allow others the chance to um, cultivate their own money and maybe hold back a little bit. Be a little stingy, okay? All right. Um, number three, what to focus on? The nine of pentacles. I don't know if you guys are trying to move into a new house, move in together, maybe, um, you know, um, collaborate on something together as a new home, renovate a new home. But let's see what the Nine of Pentacles says here. All right, order, pleasure, all right? This is what you need to focus on. Harmony rules as noise disputes with neighbors, building work, or family quarrels cease. Order is restored, money flows, and you can now enjoy the financial security you have worked for. This is also a time to appreciate your home life and your calm, relaxed state of mind will naturally attract others to you. Uh, beautiful. All right, the next position is your past, the hangman. Maybe been hung up in a position before, all right? Something, you know, dealing with the hangman in this aspect. Um, it's just maybe in a relationship I'm getting potentially, um, maybe due to a pregnancy or maybe an abortion or miscarriage. If you're trying to have a child and you're Gemini Libra, okay, Ten of Cups is saying you will have this child. I'm predicting by October or maybe looking at October to conceive. Um, this is also your strength. Um, so let's read the literal of this as well. I'm just giving you guys my 
psychic uh, approach on this, okay, or my seeing approach on this, reading it for all the collective who watched this. All right, but let's get this to the literal. Um, so basically, this is your strengths in the fifth position here. One, two, three, four, your strengths, okay? Uh, it says contentment. The 10 is an auspicious card for all relationships, friends, families, and romantic partners. It reveals stability and enjoyment and can also predict a time for completion, such as a family or school reunion, all right? A lot of family time, Gemini. A lot of time together because of this quarantine, right? You can enjoy peace and harmony in all your relationships and ungroup activities from sports teams to choirs. The 10 predicts bonding and happy togetherness. All right. So happy togetherness. Great. Now, this is your future, okay? Justice, all right? Um, I don't know if you guys are maybe fighting a lawsuit or potentially looking for um, something in the arena of contracts or trying to start a business together or dealing with custody issues with the baby mama or ex-wife um, or ex-husband. Um, let's take a look here. Justice, uh, Right. The favorable, favorable conclusion of a dispute or other ongoing concern, providing that your success is deserved. Legal matters are influenced in a reading. Justice argues for a reasoned, pragmatic approach to challenges as opposed to avoidance and denial or extreme responses. Balance is all. This is your future. So it looks like whatever you guys are going through or a situation you're going through, balance is about to be restored for you. OK, um, this is how I the suggested approach to anything you have going on here the two of cups in reverse let me take a look at that here and this is the golden tarot by liz dean by the way let me give her her props okay uh, two of cups in reverse one person may be unwilling to commit in a partnership okay relationships suffer as communication fails so it looks like you need to work on definitely communication all right all right relationships suffer as communication fails leading to jealousy divisions and breakups trust may be broken as secrets are revealed okay so might as well just go ahead and get ahead of the curve and go ahead and just put it all out on the table gemini and libra before it gets out in the open okay because it potentially could cause some issues okay what you need to know and you know what that is okay if you need this, if you think about it, if you thought about it and it resonated with you the first thing came to your mind go ahead and just do it okay trust your intuition okay this is what you need to know King of Cups in reverse. It also reminds, looks like maybe potentially wanted an engagement or marriage or maybe someone trying to maybe divorce uh, their wife. If it's a husband telling he's going to leave this girl and get with you and you've been waiting around like when the fuck are you going to do this shit because I've been waiting on your ass for the fucking longest and I've been trying to be sitting around waiting on you to do this, Gemini. I'm sorry, I'm sitting around and waiting on you to do this, um, Libra. When the fuck are you going to do this, right? And so this is what I'm seeing. King of Cups in reverse destructive behavior the reverse king has stream has extreme emotions right and being in his company means you hun i'm sorry lurch between his highs and lows right he may avoid difficult situations rather than resolve them and at times resort to destructive tactics to escape commitment Ooh, yep why well, keep going back and forth right back and forth this is your hopes and fears Hope two of pentacles, like you're juggling, you're like indecisive, like, I don't know, you know, sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down, you know, I can't get a motherfucking finger on him or her, like, what, I don't know, what the fuck, sometimes it depends on uh, what's going on with my money, or what's going on with my life, or what's going on with my kids, or what's going on with my ex-wife, what's going on with my baby mama, what's going on with my baby father, what's going on with my ex-wife, what's going on with my ex-husband, what's going on with my job, there's so many other factors and things and influences and distractions that tend to allow a lot of oscillation and a lot of, um, you know, just back and forth, okay? Too much oscillating, going back and forth, okay? It's outside influences or, or events, actually, that may be causing these things and your these responses to these events is what may be causing this, you know, um, the spillage of this, you know, negative energy into your relationship, okay? But let's see the two of pentacles. Um, this is your hopes and fears, right? Your financial situation may be volatile, but the two affirms that with careful management, you will have enough money to pay your way. Life is unpredictable with many demands on your time, like I said, right? But your business is solvent or Gucci, right? And professional partnerships run smoothly, although in romantic relationships, you may need to negotiate your share of the domestic workload, right? And 10 is your potential outcome or your potential future. And this is the five of swords in reverse. I'm going to go ahead and read that one. Okay. Five of swords in reverse. Bam, 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 bam. Right here. Come on. Five of swords. All right. So, uh, like my fingers are stuck to the page. Five of swords in reverse. Oh, bam. <laughs> 
don't come to this page quite often, as you can see. Exposure. A tense situation escalates, right? An initiative has failed, but fear of humiliation and exposure to spiteful criticism means you remain defiant rather than admit past mistakes. I'm saying get ahead of the curve, like I said down here, okay? Go ahead and get out in the open before it gets ugly, okay, Gemini and Libra? Because the Libra will hold on to the information. Gemini, you think you guys are trying to one-up each other. It's not going to work, okay? One person has to go ahead and put it out there in the open, okay? If you guys want to heal and move forward, and it doesn't have to be volatile, okay? Do it in a manner of respect, okay? Um, to stop the downward spiral, you may need to own up to your errors, painful though this may be, okay? Book a reading with me if you'd like to get more clarity on the situation. My email is listed below. Also, my Instagram is psychic underscore Samario. Uh, follow me. I do my daily uh, energy of the day readings. If you want to DM me there as well, you can communicate there with me as well. Please click the subscribe button. Um, if you like what you saw, pass this over to your friends. Share with those who may also be inspired by this as well. This is your twin flame reading for the signs of Gemini and Libra. Again, this is psychic Samario, psychic shortening, psychic starts. I love each and every one of you guys. Peace out.